Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound AlCl3. So we have only two elements here. We have aluminum, which is Al, and then we have Cl for chlorine. Let's map where these guys are on the periodic table to determine what's a metal and what's a nonmetal, right? So aluminum is over here on the periodic table, right? It's in this group right here, which is 3A or 13. But notice that aluminum, if you look on your periodic table, it's going to be to the left of this staircase line. Any elements basically to the left of the staircase are always metals, except for hydrogen, okay? So aluminum, since it's to the left of the staircase, it's going to be a metal, so it's in blue. And then chlorine, is over here on the periodic table. It's in the same period as aluminum, but just moved over. But it's to the right of the staircase, and therefore it's a nonmetal. So we have aluminum in blue, because it's a metal, and we have chlorine in green, because it's a nonmetal. Okay, now we're just going to name it. Aluminum comes first, so the metal comes first, and the metal name always stays exactly the same. So aluminum will just stay aluminum. Okay. Next comes chlorine. Chlorine is the nonmetal, and that name always gets the I-D-E ending. So it was chlorine on the periodic table, but I need that I-D-E ending, so it would be chloride. You drop the N-E because I already have the I there, and you just say D-E, and there's the I-D-E ending. Now, just check, guys, does aluminum need a Roman numeral? Well, no. Even though it's a post-transitional metal, it's not in this box, right? Usually any of the elements in here are in need a Roman numeral, but there are exceptions all the time. But aluminum will always have a plus three charge, and therefore it never needs a Roman numeral. We know the charge. So this is the answer, guys. AlCl3 is just aluminum chloride. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments, all right? Give this video a thumbs up if it did help you and subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Um, thank you so much for that, all right? See you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.